Hey everyone, Luminous Plasma here, and uh, today we're going to start off a new mini-series. It's going to be pretty short, maybe like three episodes or whatever. And what we're going to be looking at is the Blue and White Power Mac G3. And uh, in the first uh, installment or episode of uh, this new series, we're going to be putting a hard drive in it. And at the very end, we're going to be doing a final overview and talking about the specs and like all the goodies and stuff that are high-quality, high-tech people would know. Like all the megahertz and all this and that. So anyway, first episode, we're just going to be talking about how to go about installing a hard drive in the Power Mac G3. So how to open the Power Mac G3 is you just take this lever here and lift up and it is open. So I don't know if the Power Mac's caddy originally had screws on it, but for mine, it's actually this whole back metal plate. You just slide it to the right and then uh, lift up and it's free, but I'd recommend unplugging the big power connector first just to make it out of easier to get out and uh, once you remove the power connector then you can just uh, lift it out and try not to like pinch any cables but uh, it's pretty easy to take out so now what you want to get is your hard drive of choice a Phillips screwdriver and four screws so you want to place your hard drive here and then flip this over and you want to line up uh, the four holes and uh, the four holes you want to be mounting uh, the screws in is here, 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 and here, and uh, just uh, line it up flat on the floor and uh, screw them in. So there you go, you guys are now finished screwing, so now to reassemble it. So now the last thing to do is uh, slide the caddy under the power cable and over the IDE connector. And uh, it's pretty simple, you just uh, try not to pinch any cables and set it down and slide over. Now we can reinsert the power plug and uh, plug in the Molex power. And now we can uh, set that off to the side there and grab an IDE cable and we will we'll be done. So it's your choice what kind of cable do you want. Do you just want an IDE to IDE or IDE to two more IDEs? Now, I want the most room possible in this cable to make it look nice and clutter free. And obviously this is I mean, it's your choice, but this is not the best choice here. So you just wanna plug it in, uh, and the blue part into the motherboard, and then the black part into the hard drive. And I already had uh, some creases that were in it, but I might as well just go flatten them out right now before we seal the case back up. But that was pretty simple. Make sure as you close it, no cables are getting pinched and it's good. There you go, guys. That was pretty simple and um, straightforward. So uh, actually this week I have a four day weekend. So hopefully I'll be able to pump out some more videos. And uh, yeah, I've been gone for a little while, but don't worry about that. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, hope you guys learned something new. Bye.